Organic particles with unheard of unusually discovered on Mars so far, the size. Curiosity rover detected long-chain compounds on Mars organic from the group of alkanes. He made the discovery in the Gale crater, which he was probably in the distant past by the lake. The discovered particles they exhibit characteristics similar to fatty acids produced on Earth by biological activity although the compounds themselves may have formed as a result of processes inanimate. Curiosity Plaque finds the biggest particles to go organic on the red planet. He discovered them in the rock the mule in the crater Gale, where he landed in 2012. Gale Crater is an ancient remnant of the It's a Powerful Hit. The landing place was selected based on the photo satellite that has shown that probably in the distant past there was liquid water. Scientists from the National Center for Scientific Research CNRS, together with fellow two of those from France, USA, Mexico, and Spain have been detected in a mud named Cumberland, which was explored in 2012, three varieties of alkanes organic molecules made of carbon and hydrogen atoms. These compounds are decan, undeca and dodecan, which have 10, 11, and 12 carbon atoms, respectively. Results and description of the research appeared in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. In 2013, Curiosity drilled into a mud found in the crater of Gale. He analyzed the samples in his onboard laboratory sample analysis on Mars, SAM. In 2015, scientists saw in traces of long-chain organic compounds. However, they were not able identify molecules and rule out the possibility that it may be pollution from the Earth. Curiosity analyzes rock samples by heating them to high temperatures up to 1100 degrees Celsius and then identifying gases produced by gas chromatograph and mass spectrometer. According to the opinion SAM space probe standards is an extremely sophisticated equipment, but this not the same as the laboratory on Earth. SAM data is a mess she admitted Caroline Freisinet, who led the new study. Fry Sinet and his co-workers lead on Earth experiments with a SAM twin, placed in conditions similar to those it's on the Red Planet. All to better understand the results sent by Curiosity to Earth. Scientists feared that oxygen present in other Martian chemicals can oxidize some of the molecules they are looking for and they began experimenting with the two-step heating process. Preserved samples the mud was heated to about 475 degrees C, then chilled. This allowed for evaporation of oxygen. The researchers then reheated the samples to about 850 degrees C in the presence of a chemical amplifier to carry out the chromatography procedure gas and mass spectrometry. The results of this study showed traces of long-chain organic molecules known as alkanes. Scholars and scholars they identified decan, undecan, and dodeca. The amounts of these molecules are small 53 parts per billion, $22 ppb, for undine and even less in the case of the other two alkanes. The heating process could have degraded the sample, at first there could have been more. The Cumberland mule is 3.7 billion years old, then the molecules or their chemical predecessors were formed. So what created them, it's been gone a long time ago. Identified molecules are formed on Earth both in processes involving and without living organisms. So the discovery is not it is proof that there was life on Mars. Alkins are not particularly permanent. Researchers they suspect that they contained carbon dioxide before they burn out, which did they are carboxylic or fatty acids. Using the SAM twin, 
mixed a small amount of long-chain carboxylic acid with rich in clay with soil that was supposed to imitate the Cumberland mud. Then they led a double firing. The results were similar to those obtained by the Curiosity. Scientists also ruled out other likely sources of alkanes. Why Alkane on Mars? Eva Scheller of Massachusetts Institute of Technology said fatty acids may have been formed in chemical reactions in the early solar system. In this scenario they would initial of meteorites that bombarded the red planet in its initial its a period. They could also evolve on Mars from kerogen-like particles, which Curiosity has detected and which can be abiotic in themselves. Although many researchers believe that origin these molecules will not be determined until the samples are exalted on Earth, Freisina is not sure. Cumberland was so an exciting discovery that the team collected two cans for later analysis. The first was used in their original research, but the second remained intact. Intact. Team now checks whether Sam could detect a wider range alkanal. Pas de soleil, pas de soleil, pas de soleil.